Back in 1977, we both were invited to become graduate assistants at the Syracuse I School. Even though we were on separate tracks, John was more on the technology side, I was more on the library side, we were both working at various points for Dean Taylor, and that is how we happened to share an office and get to know each other, fall in love, and uh, get married. That sounds like a good summary to me. <laughs> There's been so much change along so many dimensions. When we were there, a building was just housed in three cottages along Euclid Avenue and Ostrom Avenue. Now it has its own building. Uh, so just that dimension is really amazing. When I tell people that I was uh, once a student of Robert Taylor, they're very impressed because he's had an international impact on information studies. Other uh, faculty who were important to us were Jeff Katzer, who brought communication science more deeply into the iSchool curriculum. Ancha Lemke, she was actually world renowned as a scholar herself in theological studies and librarianship. Not only were they experts, but they could translate their expertise to terminology that someone who was really beginning the field could understand and appreciate. Both as a master's student and as a doctoral student, I learned from the faculty what a truly outstanding iSchool should be and the amount of effort that it takes to move in the direction of improving the curriculum and the research and the education into the future. The legacy of the iSchool was to have that vision to be able to adapt to what's happening not only now in the field, but will happen in the future in the field to change the school and to mold it to best fit student needs so they can become productive professionals and scholars in the field. Syracuse gave us an amazing opportunity. I don't think we would ever have been exposed to all the great faculty and interaction with our, our other colleagues and students without financial assistance. We just wanted to give other people that opportunity in the future. I got lucky and I wanted to make other students in the future as lucky as I was. My name is Betsy Martins. My name is John Martins. And we are both Forever Orange.